He was fast. Let's say, on the road, I'm about to have my lunch. So, uh, if there's a food fight, <laughs> I might, I might, I might douse myself in some of this yogurt. This, well, let me backtrack just a little bit. Just recently discovered I'm diabetic. And uh, it won't be until October, which is right around the corner, a couple weeks. That's when my medicus <laughs> kicks in and uh, I'll be able to get a, a better handle on this. In the meantime, I'm learning a little bit here and there about uh, being a diabetic. And believe me, it is tough. Uh, the restrictions on foods you cannot eat is incredible. For one thing, no wheat, no rice, no potato. So, uh, I'm going into the local store around here. It's Market Basket, whatever it is in your neck of the neighborhood, Bigly Wiggly, Sosco, whatever. I'm walking around with my list. <laughs> only to realize that I'm gonna to starve to death. Everything has wheat in it. I mean, everything. But when it comes to fruits and vegetables, about 90% of the stuff you can eat. So, <laughs> local farm. I can walk to the place every morning. You can see that night, they made a big batch on 910. Unbelievable. Goat's milk yogurt is out of this world. Oh, yum, yum, yum. And I also get goat's milk. And you can see the, that's fresh today, that, that today is that date. About three hours ago, it left the mama <laughs> into this jar. Then it was refrigerated for about three hours, and ta-da, here I am drinking it. And uh, can't say enough about goat's milk, goat's yogurt. If you have a farm nearby that has goats, help them out. Purchase all you can when you need it. So when I'm on the road, I always get my, my coffee black and I add my own milk. I also add stuff that you should be having. Simonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonim
just straight yogurt today. Yesterday was a uh, yogurt with uh, berries. I had blackberries and blueberries. I literally filled that with uh, the blueberries and uh, blackberries, which are quickly going out of season. You can add some of to this. Mix that up a little bit and have a little ginger too. Doesn't hurt. It does you wonderbar. Mix that all up. Oh, it's got the, the look of cappuccino now. Look, the geese are coming over. Oh, man, oh, man. Wow. Yep, 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 yep. Ah. Well, Al's not with me today. He is in uh, you know, some state, Pennsylvania, I think, maybe. Ohio, maybe. Something like that. Uh, he uh, is portraying in a couple different bands. Paul in one band, Paul in another band, and Ringo in another band, uh, performing uh, at a thing called uh, uh, Abbey Road on the River or something like that. Yeah. It's where, uh, well, it used to be, it, it's big now, still, yeah. But it used to be huge, huge, because uh, a lot of the, uh, uh, bands that would come from overseas, COVID restrictions, etc. So instead of like a hundred bands, it's more like fifty. But still, fifty, <laughs> and uh, it's good. It's all good. So he's on there, making the big bucks, sitting in with uh, three, three or four bands. It's right up there. <laughs> as soon as they found out he was a, a freelancer, everybody was grabbing him to. Uh, do the show because that's a huge show. Well, so if anybody out there knows of any really good recipes for diabetics, yeah, I'm just looking for that stuff. I eat. I eat. I already eat. You know, a lot of different nuts. Um, I've had my. Uh, rye bread, rye bread and uh, pumpernickel. It's good. I mean, as a child, you couldn't get me to eat rye bread, but actually, it's really good. Especially after you, after you haven't had wheat in a couple months. Uh, I sure miss rice, even though it's really not that nutritious. It's just a big starch blob in your gut. Potatoes, yeah, uh-huh. I've got a little Irish in me, so I really miss the taters. <coughs> uh, some fruits I can't have, like pineapple, bananas. Uh, I guess I can have, like, you know, uh, papaya and... Um, Something else, whatever, <laughs> in small quantities, you know, because I really love papaya, nom, nom, nom. But it's good and fibrous, and, and you know, just got to keep those carbs down. That's the main thing, and yeah, seems like uh, I'm doing a lot of hummus and cheese. You can have all that cheese you want. <laughs> yeah, you know, that helps with the, with the digestion, eh? Comes out in big brick, just like it goes in, big brick. Big brick in, brick, brick out. But if you have sim and nim 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 on it, it's all good. Oh. 
Peace out.